thinger, thank you. Everyone get their everyone get the thing trying to trying to see me trying to see chat. You know? Thick. What was the first location? What happened? Why did they do that? <laughs> did they just DC? Easy wins, boys. First location hadn't even been revealed. Close the app without realizing they're in the game. Yo, let's go. Victory. Easy wins, boys! Yeah, they saw Banks and knew they had no chance. Uh, it wasn't an infinite, it's only a gold, luckily. Um, um. You thought I said Rouge Ramp? I do say Rouge instead of Rude, so I guess that, that makes a lot of Scumbo! What up, Scumbo? Best of luck to you, sir. Do what you got in that hand, buddy. Bonka. No Angela for you? No, no, no. I think the pig is so much better than Black Widow in this deck. Even though it loses like our nasty combo, I think that's more of a ladder combo than anything. Or like a highlight combo. Rather than being like uh, specifically good. Maybe I should have left, uh, kept left lane open. For Galactus reasons. We'll see. We draw Sandman, we're snapping. Maybe fit Nebula in on a turn. You still think Pig is bad? No. The moment Pig came out, I thought it was good. The The problem I thought with Pig is that I thought Pig did the same thing Iceman did, where you don't see the card. Once you get the information, the fact that you get the information with the Pig is so, so clutch. I, I changed my mind immediately once I saw that... Um... We could just go Doom, Dino, Odin. Maybe we go Doom left, in case the Odin comes out and, and lands here. Doom left always, yeah, for Grand Central reasons. I agree. Uh, I think we snap here too. We're just, we're just we're just doing all the things that we want. Pretty confident snapping here. They probably expect a Sandman to be coming down. Central makes Dino weak. Uh, it's still a nine power card. It's still pretty good. They didn't waste their entire turn playing Kitty Pride for four costs, which is really, really good for us. Is Arrow good stuff for Galactus? Do you, do you not have Galactus? I think Galactus is so, so awesome in this deck. Why did you wave on three versus Kitty Best and not on four into Odin? Why did you wave on three versus Kitty Best and not on four into Odin? Why did you wave on three in a kitty bass and not on four in a oak? I don't know. If I can do this, this seems pretty strong. We have four and five auto wins versus kitty. I think we're winning. Uh, I can see where your head's at. Where are they not going to kitty? Or where are they going to kitty? No, where are they not going to kitty? Where do we think they are definitely not going to kitty? They kitty where they need power. They need the same amount of power pretty much on every single lane. Yeah, I think middle is probably our best best bet. Is monkey, I 
think we're winning still? They only have... Yeah, very nice. Jeez. If we were going second, the monkey would have been even bigger. Okay, so now we just think about we 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 just try and get CMN down. We try and wave into Odin. Yeah, I think I think that you're right. Get wrecked. I just like I'm just like caveman brain. I just like I play um. I just play wave on three when I have it on three. You know, like why when I play wave on three, I have it. And when it's on three, I'm a ramp deck. Awfully close. That's what you wanted this mode, right? We wanted the hemorrhage cubes by losing awfully close games. Need to hold wait till turn five. I have sand man in my deck, which is the same thing. So I, I really don't. I can sometimes though. We're definitely gambiting on on three. As a joke. Get the new card today? The new card yesterday? Yeah, I did. Agatha Snap is a joke. That was a that was a joke, Agatha Snap. Kill the kitty. <laughs> no! What a terrible card to play. think I'm throwing. I kind of want to show him the Agatha, but I should be responsible and not. I paid one cube to snap on Agatha. I think it's worth it. If I go for it, there's no way they go left, right? I wish I could show him the Agatha, but I can't, I can't, I can't do it for four cubes. Imagine they play left and like, I don't know, man. I guess it wouldn't matter, right? If they play left, they steal the Titania. You wish they'd show each other's hands after a game ends? I think that would be really bad at specifically for this mode. In the latter, it would be like, whatever. But in this mode specifically, that would be horrible. All right, now we will think about holding the wave unless we have uh, Sandman on turn three. Now we will consider holding the wave. Or if we get Odin, we can wave Zola Odin. Electus. Also, just slam the Galactus. That's a bit of BM. And we have two draws. We have thirty-three percent chance. I kind of want to play the wave, man. G-Man mid. I don't know why I would G-Man mid. That seems bad. 
I haven't shown Galactus yet, no. Just snapped. It's 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 Very scary. Boomer snap? It worked. To be fair. If it's dumb and it works, it's not dumb. Boomer snap, met by boomer stay. So true. Damn, respect for them for staying in. Opponent staying is done. I think they're just tilted. I think they're realizing that they it's nearly impossible to beat my deck. Just fair. Yeah, I probably just gave. I'm. I'm. I don't know. Even know why they're still playing right now. Okay, nice beast bonk. And it's a three-three now. Peace. This is another new addition to the playlist. Are you trying to learn? Yeah, it's fair. Ooh, random cards. I'll play a random card. Is the playlist public? I cannot make this playlist public. No. Because it's associated with my personal uh, Spotify account. I'll see that new goofy location. I have not. No. We'll check after this battle. Yo, chat. As long as we get ramp, we can Galactus Zola. Called the Great Web. Is that like randomly like a card gets moved here? I think I, I think I saw that uh, data mine. All right, chat. This is gonna be wonderful. Wait, I don't know how to I don't know how to make it work. I don't know how to miss the Galactus. I don't know how to miss the Galactus is the problem. We can't just do Wave Zola. Let's just do Wave Zola. Wave Zola Odin, right? We just Wave Zola Odin, right? It never loses. Yo, Alexander. Alex, I've been calling you Alex Kosia forever. But Cozy calls you Alex Kosha. Have I just been calling you Alex Cosia and I've just been a fraud the whole time? Is that what's been happening? Is it Alex Kosha? Like Kocha kind of? Alex right win the 50-50. I'd just rather, I, we should just win, right? You don't know I love you no matter what? Pocha. Okay. I will now change and only call you uh, that properly forever. Opponent does get to play two cards here? He is Italian. So true. How you been, man? 
You been doing well in Conquest? This is like my first time playing Conquest uh, for real, for real in a while. Wait, he didn't get the plus two energy, right? Because the Vibranium didn't destroy. You have to destroy it to get plus two energy. You did not get it? Okay, so we just leader. Been playing some experimental stuff, hit and miss, been trying to get crystal work. I think crystal's just good in Hella, man. I don't know any other deck that crystal's good in, but crystal feels very nice in Hella. Crystal feels great in Hella. Hella might not be a bad, um, Hella honestly might not be that bad of a, uh, conquest list, right? You just demoralize him? Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough when you're of the bounce deck playing against, uh, that deck. It's just like, what are you going to do, right? Nicely. Yo, Dan Hip Spider Man! Didn't this just get released? Negative likes Crystal? I don't really think that's correct. <laughs> I think it was like okay with Crystal, but I don't know if it necessarily is good. Yeah, I, someone literally came in the other day and was saying, like, oh, why hasn't Dan Hip Spidey been released? It's been like data mine since the game came out. Buy another twenty ninety nine. Pixel Mega Red kind of looks cracked. I bet this looks really nice in three D. Did I see the Destroy Surfer Thanos Hella list that Hogan was playing? I did not. That sounds crazy though. Can you get the Carnage bundle? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It's like really good from a gold gold value perspective, right? How much time do I have left? One day. I don't know if I can get this though. I, I like the the. There's a season pass Spider Man. It's kind of good, right? Oh, sorry. By the way. Um. Yeah, I kind of want that widow, man. I kind of want that widow. But I, I mean, I really like my Greki Widow, too. Like, some people hate this Widow, but I, I really like this Widow. So it's like, I don't, I don't know, man. I really like this one already. This might be my favorite Greki variant, too. Yeah, the Nullified one goes nuts. I mean, you're not wrong. I got my eyes on it. Don't worry. I've just been trying to spend less on this game. You know what I mean? You don't like the face? I love the Greki Widow face. Thanks, Penny Less. I've never been a whale in this game, really. I've never been too crazy with how much I spend in this game. I skip a lot of, um... I skip a lot of bundles and stuff. Now, I do have the positive effect where I can write all of the purchases off of my taxes. So I'd save, like, you know, 30% or something. People, I feel like people don't understand what a tax write-off is. It's not like it's free. Just because something's a tax write-off doesn't make it free. <laughs> people just say tax write-off and they have no idea. They've never like run a business before, you know? It does help you recoup some things on taxes, but... Uh, it's just a percentage. The Great Web. After each turn, move one card to the web for a random player. That is a crazy location, for sure. What's a tax write-off? Basically, you can put it as a s expenditure of your business because I don't make money personally. I have a uh, LLC that generates all, or that is all the money that I make. So all that is funneled into an LLC. Uh, and then I could put that off as a um, expense for my business, uh, which lowers the amount of total net revenue that my business gets, which lowers the amount of taxes I have to pay. That makes sense. It doesn't save me money long term. It's, if I'm spending the money, I'm still losing money, right? I just don't lose as much money. A oh, weird Binks doesn't own any of his agon splits. They're all owned by the LLC. So true. How many infinity tickets? I have two, but I'm about to have three after this game. 
You learned everything you know from dead taxes from Trump. Literally laundering money by whaling and sap. Everyone, don't talk about illegal things, okay? How about that? How about we just how about we just all decide to not not talk about illegal things? How about that? Hell's Kitchen. Very nice. We get Nebula and Spider Ham for the first time. We'll play Nebula on one. Make sure the opponent doesn't have fun. Opponent drew as well, correct? Yeah, opponent did draw. We also got this draw for free, so it doesn't affect our double dinosaur, which is really nice for us. And we have Galactus too. Very cool. We'll go double double up here. There's a decent chance we wave in a Galactus. Decent chance we wave in a Galactus. See what we we'll see what we bunk. Okay, cool. Hi, Evo. We can like wave Dino Galactus or or wave Galactus Dino Leader to steal their um Hulk when they play it. Uh, so now that we know they're not bounced, we always play wave here, but I right, we'll, we'll we'll see what we play next turn. I think often they're not gonna play middle here. So they'll play their big card either left or right, I would imagine. Maybe left? Maybe they do play at middle. Maybe that's something to fear. Let's say Hulk mid on four. Yeah, well, they probably don't have Hulk. They would've had to top deck it. We could also go just leader, Dino, Odin. Also a really strong line. I don't wanna snap. Let's go leader, Dino, Odin. I think it's a safer play. Yeah, we would have we would have missed the Galactus. Wave is great for us, honestly. Wave is wonderful for us. Absolutely wonderful. GG's. Zola instead of Odin? Nah. The Zola is so risky. They could play a big card right, then we just don't get it because we're filling here. Uh, absolutely we Odin. Odin's way, way stronger of a play. Even if we weren't winning there, we were probably winning. It's actually probably bad that our dinosaur got us over the top. The Sandman's not super effective in this matchup. Only mid was a throw. No, they waved. It didn't matter. They waved, so they know they were only going to play one location. It was a tactical gambit. I don't think it was a throw at all. They had to play their. They had to play their. Um, their wasp. No, we absolutely wouldn't Zola the leader. We just Odin the leader. Odin the leader is so much stronger, chat. So 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 much stronger. Their wave is a pretty bad card in this matchup, so we're, we're pretty happy that they have that in their deck. They have an A-bomb too, which is quite interesting. A-bombs pretty rarely played. They probably have a scorpion as well. I wonder if we Sandman here and stop their wasp. They have a lot of small stuff still. This is a... This is a a time where we might do the Arnim Zola leader stuff. I think we do Sandman here. Chess of they're playing a ramp deck incorrectly. Raise TF. If you think that playing ramp decks is just like autopilot, then you're wrong. 
But I hope you felt good for trying to dunk on chat. That made you feel be feel better. Okay. Leader Odin wins a lot. Problem is getting their Hulk is a little bit iffy. We'll see if we get like the A-bomb here. Okay, Misty Knight. Smart by them to charge the sunspot to play around leader. I don't think they risk going middle. I think we just Galactus middle and it wins. We steal four from them. I don't. Th I don't think they can risk going middle, man. Wow. Die. Tough. That's really surprising that they risk that. Really surprising. We lose if we Odin, chat. We lose if we Odin. They played really smart to get this sunspot charged. That was a bad play by them unless I knew about Galactus. Yeah, very surprising. Very surprising choice. Uh, they might know that I like Galactus, though. I mean, they, they might know me, so... Not that they're stream sniping, because it doesn't seem like they're stream sniping, but they might just know who I am and that I like Galactus in this deck, or maybe have seen the YouTube video. Uh, or they were just making super risky play. I don't know. Because no matter what you do other than Galactus, Hulk anywhere wins. Well, not necessarily, right? I think if we had Zola the... I think if we had Zola the um, leader, we had some we had some outs. A Zola the leader would have won there, right? Why don't you get a Missing Knight from the leader? Because it died before the leader went off. Zola didn't win right? Oh, you're right. Yeah, we would have won middle and then we would have lost left. No, you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. I think Nebula's good here. We get okay, nice 14 power Hulk. Plus, if we leader that, then we uh we cheat, which is cool. Remember the leader cheat. Oh, I remember the leader cheat, I will never forget that. It's always wave here, but how do we follow this up is the problem. Leader Zola Odin. Is that even that good, though? It feels not great, right? They were jammed up middle, but maybe it's enough. Plus, we could have any card move over to the Great Web. This could actually, like, yeah, see? We don't really have agency over it. The problem. Maybe we Sandman here, and we hope for a, um... Hope for a 5-drop off the rip. I mean, we're we're just running if if we uh if they snap here. We're definitely just running if they snap. Can't really Odin middle. It's just it's way too weak. Yeah, stupid location. I agree. I think we'll just Sandman and hope to get a decent six cost or like Black Panther. We could win with.
Man, we're in a lot of trouble. Might have to take this 50-50 here. Oh, no, it doesn't really work. Might have to take a 50-50 of playing the Black Panther here. So here, here's my problem. If we play this Black Panther right, and they expect an Odin, they could just play a big card middle, and there's nothing we can do about it. But if we play Black Panther left, and we take a 50-50, then they're in some trouble. Leader can get us wins, right? I kind of want to go left, and then I can even like do Galactus stuff if we need to. Not that that can also happen. Wait, they can't just Hulk though, right? If they just Hulk here, then we win middle. Chat, it's not as simple as you may think. They can't play Hulk. They're probably gonna play Thing. I don't think we can beat Thing left or right, unfortunately. Now, they only have to float one, kind of. They win sometimes, but if they float, uh, if they float anything, we'd probably lose. We risk this for two. Run, probably, right? It's called an L to the stupid location. I think we could win the long game against this deck. Thing with Misty, they can't see him in some. But I think they play Thing here. I think they play Thing. They might run two, though. Whatever they play goes mid, If they, that'd be terrible. That'd be very stupid of them to do. Yeah, something could move mid too, right? Maybe Odin Wright could have won? That's because it's very interesting. Wait, actually, right. Maybe we should have taken that risk, right? Maybe we should have taken the risk. Well, their Cyclops could have moved too. There's What the hell, dude? Wait, is this a bug? Is this like a common location? I don't know if we can still target you if your side is full. The hot location doesn't affect uh, conquest. What do we get? Okay, Hulk at 12. Plus we have a glitch. This domain. We're still missing three of their cards, I think, because the pig is taking up a spot. Uh, what I would guess their extra cards are... They maybe have Chavez. Some people are running that. They might have Storm. Now, they probably have extra four costs, because they have a Zabu in the deck for whatever reason. They probably have Sean. They almost certainly have Sean, right? They have Zabu. Probably have a third four as well. Oh, and Haivo. So they have Haivo and Sean. Almost certainly, or two of their extra cards. We're still missing one. You don't hit Electra right here to not clog the web lane, but it, it could de Oh, well, I guess that's a good point, just to kill it off. Actually, I actually like that a lot, yeah. And then we could just Dinosaur middle and win Asgard. Scorpion? Potentially. Yeah, they must have some something that helps their A-bomb. Otherwise, their A-bomb just feels really weird. I feel like Dinosaur... I guess we don't know if the Great Web is going to trigger on us, though. I hate this location, dude. This is the worst location ever. This is the dumbest location ever, man. Yeah, but like... With Great Web, like, would it, does it choose a player and then choose what happens? Like, we, we don't know, right?
I want to do this. I'm going to do it. I don't care. It'll move one of them back, but I want to get in the dust domain. Damn, dude. It literally is triggered for me like every single time. They haven't had a single card move over there, dude. Leader Min. I mean, we lose. Wait, you're right. Just leader min. I guess I can go left. We just play it for... I, this is our first conquest, right? But if they play the... the they're going to great web one of their cards, right? They play left? No shot. You really had to hit him all three times. Fuck that, dude. Literally, it hits any of the other cards any one of the times, and we win. Oh my god, dude. What is this luck, bro? What is that luck, dude? This is why I don't want to play Conquest, man. That was the most horrid luck I can imagine, man. Oh, dude, that was horrible luck, bro.